everybody. Douglas Blair Roberts here, the Super Vader 400. And of course, the brown skin king is coming back at you with another rare review. And as you can see by the title, this is my review of the 2020 animated film Mortal Kombat Scorpion's Revenge, which I talked about in my long 90s Mortal Kombat adaptation review, which the link to that video for people on YouTube who didn't see that video, the link to that video will be in the description box below. But, um... But, um, yeah, I talked about this movie and that, and I, I talked about this movie, and I expected this movie to be out in late April, in late April or sometime in May, because they just said spring 2020. They didn't give an exact date when, when this movie would come out, and I saw various reviews of this um, movie and even found, found the Wikipedia page with the critical reception and everything and decided to look it up on the on one of the websites I go to to watch to to watch cartoons and the movie was there and I watched it and this is this is like my this is my seventh time watching it watching it it's one of the greatest um one of the um one of the greatest um animated movies I've seen there are a couple of problems I have with the movie yeah this is also a rant this is also a rant. There will be, um, yeah, this is also a rant on this same uh, movie. There were certain problems I had pretty much with the power scaling and the, this is a spoiler for those of you who haven't seen the movie, the, now I'll save that for the part two of this review. So, um, with that being said, let's get started right now. This is my, this is my world. And we can do whatever we want. Everybody, it's time for part two, the second part of my review and rant on the 2020 Mortal Kombat Legends Scorpion's Revenge movie, which, like I said in part one, um, was an awesome film, but I had a lot of problems with this film. As always, I want this video, I want this video to be as quick as possible, so I'm only going to talk about, um... I'm only going to talk about the story in brief um, detail, the characters, and what I liked and didn't like about the film. The storyline is loosely based on Mortal Kombat 1 from 1992 and the reboot in, 2000, um, in 2011 with elements from Mortal Kombat 4 and 5, Deadly Alliance. 
Deadly Alliance, which I'm going to get to each of those um, later. Um, so, um, yeah, the storyline, the storyline, um, like I said, it centers around the, the plot for Mortal Kombat 1, Liu Kang, Johnny Cage, and Sonya, guided by Raiden, all enter, all into all on um, board a boat to Shang Tsung's private island for the interdimensional bloodbath known as Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. It features that storyline, but it also, but the main character here, the storyline, centers around the titled character. Mortal Kombat Legends Scorpion's Revenge it centers around Scorpion. It starts off in the beginning with Scorpion bonding with his son. But out of nowhere, Sub Zero comes. Sub Zero and Linda Quay come and start uh, attacking Scorpion and his clan. And the the Lin Quay wipe out wipe out everyone except for Scorpion and his son with with um, Hanzo before he became Scorpion, beating the living daylights out of each um, Lin Quay member before finally Sub Zero grabs grabs Hanzo's son. Hanzo's son and tells him to um, kneel and. Sub Zero kills Scorpion by impaling him, and Scorpion wakes up in the Nether Realm, and here he is tortured by what looks to be the Nether Realm demon Dramin, the sub boss from Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance, torturing him. And Scorpion fights, and Scorpion fights, and eventually kills him. Then, um, then he attacks Quan Chi. Quan Chi easily defeats him with his sorcery, and he gives Scorpion an ultimatum. To um, help him retrieve a mysterious amulet, amulet in exchange for Scorpion getting revenge on Sub Zero, who will be at the Mortal Kombat um, tournament. So the so the um, storyline mostly mostly revolves around Scorpion, who is the major star of this um, movie. The gang board the um, the gang the, the gang board the island and Johnny Cage. Johnny Cage believes this. Um, Johnny Cage believes this whole thing is one big movie. Luke Kang is pretty much like his video game counterpart. He wants to enter the tournament to prove. He wants. To, he wants to enter the tournament because it's his destiny to defend Earth Realm from the forces of Outworld. And Sonya, um, um, Sonya wants to enter the tournament to prove girls. Girls are just as capable or even stronger than men and also of course just like her video game counterpart wants to apprehend apprehend the thief the thief known as um the black dragon leader known as Kano. So um so um yeah the um the tournament starts off with Jax being immediately captured just like his Mortal Kombat 9 counterpart his Mortal Kombat hey, 9 um, counterpart and in order for him to win his geez. freedom he has to fight he has to fight Shang Tsung's reigning champion Goro Johnny Cage I mean Jax 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 um, is easily defeated by Goro who proceeds to rip off both of his arms before he can kill Jax Raiden comes in and stops the bleeding by healing Jax by healing um Jackson, everyone then is transported to the island where multiple battles take place. Johnny Cage narrowly survives and defeats Baraka. Sonya defeats what looks to be Reptile, and Liu Kang defeats various um In the various Black Dragon before they all meet um Scorpion and try to form an alliance. Scorpion wants no part of it and tells the um tells the um Mortal Kombat characters. They have no hope of winning and to hide before it's over. Liu Kang doesn't want it. Oh yeah, Liu Kang also fought, keeps fought and defeated uh, Kitana. I forgot, fought and defeated Kitana, who's in this movie. And um, then um, Sonya goes to rescue um, Sonya goes to rescue Jax. Sonya, Sonya and Johnny Cage go to rescue Jax and Liu Kang takes the fight to Goro. Takes the fight um, takes the fight to uh, Goro and um, Scorpion does battle with Sub-Zero and Scorpion defeats Sub-Zero by impaling Sub-Zero and himself on a giant ice 
pillar with Karn Chi coming out, mocking Scorpion, telling him he is weak. He gave him one job and he failed. And then he, Quan Chi reveals that he did use his sorcery to disguise himself as Sub Zero to kill his family. And and um leaves. Meanwhile, Liu Kang takes the fight to um, Goro and first appears to be witty, easily evading Goro's attacks and hitting him with multiple blows. But Shake so forth Goro to stop playing and Goro overwhelms Liu Kang, tossing him around, then grabbing him and preparing to rip him apart the same way he ripped up ripped up ripped apart Jax's arms. But before he could finish him, Scorpion comes from behind and hits Goro with a with a get over here, with yeah. a get over here. Then uh, um, killing him, impaling him, killing him, and then prepares to fight Liu Kang, prepares to fight Liu Kang, and Shang Tsung promises Scorpion that if he defeats Liu Kang, Quan Chi, who Shang Tsung earlier caught, caught trying to betray, trying to steal the amulet to release the elder guy Shinnok, Quan Chi is, uh, will be Scorpion. Scorpion instead, instead chooses to, uh, Teleport and grab Shake Song and forfeit. Thus, Liu Kang is the winner of the tournament, and every and Shake Song escapes. And because the island was held together by Shake Song's existence, the island begins crumbling. Liu Kang, Johnny Cage, and Song Yun raid and escape. While Scorpion stays behind and does battle and kills Quan Chi and and um joins his family in the afterlife. In the post credit scene, well, not really post credit, the final scene as Shao Kahn torturing Shake Song. And tell Shake Song to get to Shake Shake to get Khan's forces ready for Outworld yeah, invasion, teasing a sequel. And the film is that, there. So like I said, um an awesome face. film. I think it's best you let me go, old Awesome man. of film. What I didn't like I like you each character in the film. Um I like each the character in the film. I like how he right finally now. did Scorpion Justice. In the film, Scorpion, outside of the video game lore, has been done terribly, especially in the 90s adaptations of Mortal Kombat. They finally got him right, he, but one thing I didn't like, he was too overpowered in this movie. He was ne Luke, Scorpion was never stronger than Liu Kang, and Goro also, who was way too powerful, was way was um, no, was never stronger than Liu Kang in any version of Mortal Kombat. Then you had um, I hated how dumb Johnny Cage was. Johnny Cage was supposed to be, is supposed to be egotistical, vain, but highly intelligent and resourceful. And here he was just stupid, dumb, and useless for the first half of the movie. For the first half of the movie. Then you got Sonya, who was like her character, but she was rough, tough, a violent bitch for no violent feminist bitch for no apparent reason. She was all like girl power, girls are capable as men, but that's not what Sonya was about. It was about falling in fall following her father's yes, footsteps, no. following Relax. her father's footsteps and becoming a special forces of right. um, um, serving her country Relax. and bringing down the black dragon criminal known as Kano. <laughs> Sorry about that. Then, um, you got Jax, who was the worst character, so he's in this film. He's in this film. He's, he easily gets beaten by Goro. This is this is closer to the new timeline, Jax, starting with Mortal Kombat 9, which I think sucks. I thought Jax was better in Mortal Kombat 1 through 8, the cartoon and movies, Annihilation. Here, in this new timeline, in this movie, he was terrible. Got his arms easily ripped apart by Goro. It was just useless for the rest of the film. Then you all... Uh, then, uh, while this film had all the violence, special moves, six projectiles and fireballs associated with Mortal Kombat, it was too much violence and too much death. And Sub-Zero and the Lin Kuei probably got it even worse than Jackson in the film. They barely got screen time. When they finally got on screen, they got killed. They all got murdered and massacred for a crime that they didn't do. They were pretty much pawns. They were pretty much pawns of Quan Chi the entire film. I didn't like that. I didn't uh, like that. And uh, I'm mixed about Quan Chi's death at the hands of Scorpio. Why I like it that Scorpio once again got his hands on Quan Chi in this timeline. It happened way too soon. And it kind of ruins Mortal to come back more unless Shinnok is going to rescue. I mean, he's going to resurrect Quan Chi. So, um, yeah. Other things I didn't like was the other characters like Natara, the vampire lady from Family Alliance. 
Kitana, Kitana, Botaro, Botaro, ain't other really? characters like that only show up for a fight, a cameo, or a fight or two, but don't really have that much of an impact in the uh, storyline. This is not a live action film, this is an anime, so the sky is the limit. The sky is the limit for what, what you can uh, do. The animation has limitations, but. Uh, but it's not the same limitations that a live action picture of Mortal Kombat would have. So, uh, so, uh, yeah. But, uh, all in all, all in all, uh, um, for the most part, good movie. I really love, um, Raiden in this film. Like I said, the new timeline made me hate Raiden, but this was a new, badass more serious, more serious of uh, Raiden, Raiden reminiscent of the original timeline Raiden from Mortal Kombat 1 through, uh, Mortal Kombat 1 through 8, so, uh, yeah, other things I didn't like, two of the biggest rivalries in this film were Sonya Blade versus Kato, and Liu Kang versus Shang Tsung, and these, well, Sonya and Kato barely fought, and Kato got dusted easily. Then you got Liu Kang and Shang Tsung. These two didn't even fight in the film, and that's one of the biggest rivalries Mortal Kombat is centered around. Three of Mortal Kombat's biggest rivalries: Liu Kang versus Shang Tsung, Scorpion versus Sub Zero, and Sonya versus Kato. And they these were these fights weren't these rivalries weren't showcased and weren't done justice at all in this movie right here. It, right here, but uh, yeah, awesome Great. film, and I'm really happy to see a new Mortal Kombat picture in 2000, uh, in 2020, so uh, yeah, this was uh, my review and rant on uh, Mortal Kombat, if you don't hear the rest of the music, turn the video off right now.